You know, it seems like yesterday that we finished up the In Him Scripture study. That, but that was March the 30th when we started this new In Him script or this new study of Romans. I want to urge you, go back to June the 21st of 2021 and, and download all these podcasts and find out what God is saying to you in his word about who you are. I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for helping us have the resources that we need to, to record all of these podcasts and put them out there for the world to download them for free, for free, that, don't, that we don't have to charge anything for anything. And partners, you're helping us do that. You're helping us give God's word away all over this planet free of charge. I, like I say, I've said this, I said it all last week. Don't forget, there's a, there is a phone app on our website for this podcast. And you can download that phone app and download every one of our podcasts. It's free. I mean, there's, there's no excuse. You've got, you've got everything that you need to find out who you are in Jesus Christ that is given away on this podcast, and it, don't, it won't cost you nothing. It won't talk, cost you anything. All you have to do is download it. So I want to urge you to do that. And partners, thank you for helping us do that, helping us get out the Word of God, the truth in what God has said to us, for us, and about us, so that we can live victoriously, triumphant, in this world that we live in, in who we are in Jesus Christ, not who we are in our religion, not who we are in our self-righteousness, but who we are in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I promise you, this, this series will change your life. I urge you to go back into, like I said, last year, June the 21st of 2021, and download this entire series and find out who God says you are. We finished that up in March 30th of this year and started this, this study, a study in Romans. And if, if the Lord don't change my mind, I'm going to go through all of Paul's epistles and teach what he has said to the church, to the born-again people of this world. And, and, and what he has said to the lost people of this world of who they can become through Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. So once again, thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry to help us do what God has commissioned us to do. You know, these prayers that I do every time I do this podcast, Monday through Friday, are, they come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. And I want the world to know what Paul wanted the Ephesians to know, that God loves them. He cares for them. He wants more than anything to be part of their lives. Oh, I thank God for, for all that is written down in God's Word for us to know that and realize that. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realm. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ 
and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious and unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God more and more every day that he shows me that love. He shows me that love through his word. And I pray today that he shows you, that he, that he gives you what you need to understand just how much he cares, just how much he loves you. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. Lord, now forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. Lord, touch my mind. Touch my mouth. Help me be the light, the vessel that you can use. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, I'm going to uh, be in Romans, the 13th chapter today, and the 12th verse. It says, the, the night is far spent. The day is at hand, at hand. Let us, therefore, cast off, cast off, the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. I got to think about that earlier. And, you know, 1 John 1 and 5, I just want to go and read it. Uh, It just, it, it, it touches home with me. And, and, and reading this, this verse that I just read you, when, when I think about what First John 1 and 5 says, it just stands to reason what, what Paul is trying to tell us here. Listen, it says in, in 1 John, it says, This is the, the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. And when Paul talking to us and says, let us, uh, is in the 12th verse of the Romans 13, it says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of, our, of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And that's what I want to talk to you today about, the armor of light. And and when we put ourselves and 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 just, I'm talking about, really believe what God says about us in his word and and put ourselves in him we are putting on that armor what what does ephesians talk talk about it's uh, ephesians the 6th chapter i think it is hang on hang on just a second ephesians the 6th chapter and the Hold on, let me look, make sure I'm on, I'm in the right spot here. I just read it. Ephesians 6 and 1. Is that right? 6 and 11, excuse me. Ephesians 6 and 11. It says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And then you can go over into the 13th verse, and it says, Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to 
to withstand in the evil days, and having done all to stand, stand. And listen, I want you to understand something today. That in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, in Him, you can have that armor of light. That you that that you know when you when you talk about God is light and you're abiding in Him, and there is in Him no darkness at all. Do you follow me? There there'll be things come to come against you. I don't care. I mean, from now on, the devil's don't going to do his best to get you down. But I want you to know something, that in, in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior, in him, you can, you can just push out all that darkness, that light, the light of God and, and the light of his word and all that his word has said to you, for you, and about you. I, I'm going to tell you something, that, that there is no place for the darkness of this world. You know, I, I I go back and I think I look at all the stuff that's went on in the last year and all the politics and all the stuff that is just it, it's designed. It's designed to take your mind off of what God is do, is doing in this world. You know, but the politics and all the social media and all the junk that that comes up every day. You know, we we look at those things and we think about my goodness. We, we I, I I made a post yesterday, and it's so true. Let us not let, let me let me explain something. Let us not take being right in an issue, and 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 allow ourselves to be pulled in to a fight, and 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 just it it it's it's wrong. It is wrong when we just get in a place where we allow the darkness of the world to overshadow, overshadow what we are doing, what we are standing in. And when we go to paying more attention to that darkness, I'm going to tell you it'll pull you down. But I'm I'm, going to tell you what what will enlighten you and strengthen you. Even if you have been pulled into that darkness and, and, and allowed yourself to be, allowed yourself to be, you know, just put in a place where you're, you're, you're down. Listen, walk into that light of God and His Word and strengthen yourself with that. God is light and in Him is no darkness. I have reserved the, the 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 statement that I reside in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the light that He has shed all over this world for me and everyone else in the world that we live in to see and enlighten all this junk that that is just that's out there to pull us down and and God has given us the light of His Word. To, to shed light on that, to, to get rid of all that junk so that we can stand tall in Him. Because in Him, there is no darkness at all. And you, you don't have to let somebody pull you down or, or a circumstance or a, 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 a Supreme Court decision get you in, get, get you into a place that, that is just, uh, just, just bad. It's bad. You know, you this the last what month and a half we we've had something that that has caused division in this world over over the last, you know, since 1973. It got overturned by the Supreme Court and sadly a lot of good intentioned people have decided that they're going to fight with the other side about what's going on. And and listen, I'm, I'm going to say something. God ain't in that fight, that fuss, and that argument over something like that. I, I've been against abortion my my entire life. I've never thought one thing. That, I mean, never had a second thought about what, what went on. 
1973 when they legalized it. I, I voted against it. I've stood against it. But it's not my place to get out here and, and browbeat somebody over what I believe, what I know is right. It's my place to love them. And it's my place to, to, to love them regardless of the decisions that they've made. I, I pray today that we come to understand that the armor of light that we need in our lives is the armor of God's Word and the armor of what it entails and brings to us to stand in. Honey, we, 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 if, if there's ever a time in world history that we need to know what God's Word says to us, for us, and about us, it's right now. It's right now. And, and I want you to know and understand this. Get a hold of what I'm saying. The light of God will, will shine into places that you've been afraid to go. And it will, it will put you in a place that you can stand strong and walk strong in who you are in Him. And, and walk through those dark places and, and shed the light of God's love all over the people that are so adamant. You know, there's people laughing and, and, and saying, you know, the, the, the left's losing their mind over this, the, over this situation and laughing when we ought to be loving those people that are, that are so dead set on, on, on having that atrocity and, and, and being allowed to use that. It, it, it's sad what this world has come to. And the Christian people of this world have no business in, the, in out here browbeating people over their mistakes. It's our time, to, it is time to love them and care for them and lift them up with the love of God that has been shed abroad in our hearts. And allow the armor of light to defend you. That armor that Paul was talking about. And that light is in God. That's in his word. It, I promise you, there's strength in that word that, that you're not going to get from an education. You're not going to get from, from a diet or a, 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 a regimen of, of vitamins. No, you're going to get it from the light that God has shed into this world to show us just how much he's for us, just how much he cares, just how much he wants to be part of our lives. Come to know this and understand this. God is for you. He's for you. He wants to, to just strengthen you beyond, beyond what the devil can ever get to you again. I want you to stand in this with me today. Believe what this word says. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Paul wanted the Romans to understand that he wanted them to walk out of the darkness of the world and into the light of God. Stand in that. Believe that. Know without a shadow of doubt who you are in Jesus Christ today. Now, I've got a question for those who are listening to this podcast and have never given Jesus Christ their Lord or made Jesus Christ their Lord, never given him their life, never asked him to come in. Don't you think today is the day that it's time that you allow Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life? Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. It says, thou shalt be saved. It says, for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come to into your heart and into your life 
and save you. Make him Lord today. I promise you it'll be the best thing that you've ever done. I thank God for the light he has given me in his word to walk in, to stand in. And I want you to take that light, to walk into his word and believe it for yourself. And after you get born again, allow him to strengthen you and put you in a place that you know who you are. And you'll never, ever look back over your life and say, I've I've made mistakes and I'm going to fall back into those mistakes. No, that you're going to look back over your life and say, God has brought me through. He has shown me who I am and I'll forever stand in who I am in Jesus Christ. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and then find out who you are in him. Glory to God. Hey, listen, listen, go to our website, get in touch with us. You know, we've got a phone app on there that you can download and get every one of these podcasts for free. And you can go back to June the 21st or all all the way back to the beginning. But I encourage you to go back to the 21st of June, 2021, and, and listen to this entire study. Listen to what God's Word has to, has to say about you, to you, and for you today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. Now, partners, thank you. I really appreciate all you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do. Praise God for all that you are doing and, and giving so that we can do what he has commissioned us to do. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, if you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do so into his kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.